More of our team coverage here on the night team. A Louisville man knows the Secret Service better than anyone. He served with them for more than 20 years. Tonight, WHS 11 night teams Alex Dieterer talked, headed out to talk with Greg Getcher shortly after more facts became known about the assassination attempt. Alex? Well, Doug Gitcher, who was a Secret Service agent for more than two decades, says the training these agents do is not taken lightly. And as you can see, just watching back this video that happened earlier today, you can see how quickly the agents were up on that podium. But seconds matter, like Gitcher tells me, and the outcome today could have been a lot different. The Secret Service is going to go over this with a fine tooth comb, magnifying glass, and figure out what, what happened and how did it happen and who did something wrong or maybe something was overlooked. I'm not saying Secret Service did anything wrong. I have no idea. But somehow that gun got in there and, and shot. Right? Retired Secret Service agent with over 21 years of service, Greg Gitcher of Louisville, shared his expertise. On the first assassination attempt our country has seen since Ronald Reagan was shot in 1981. And they got him on the ground. They surrounded him with their bodies, right? For anything else, remember, there could be an ambush at a second location. And they got him in the vehicle, even though he's fist pumping. I'm sure his adrenaline was pump pumping, you know. He almost got killed, so his adrenaline's got to be going crazy. But they're trying to get him into that armored limousine as quick as they can. And now, a former president with an ear covered in blood after shots rang out at a Pennsylvania rally. If it was a bullet that was close enough to pierce, uh, clip his ear, that would have meant that he probably had his head turned, and if his head turned a different way, it could have been a different outcome. The shooter was confirmed to have fired shots from a nearby rooftop, something Gitcher said could have been a blind spot for the agents. It could have been something as simple as they were on the other side of that roof over there, and where the guys were looking, they couldn't see him because he was just over the ridge, you know, and then he just came around for a second and fired. I'm not making excuses, but they normally wouldn't miss a, a, a person with a gun on a roof across from them. Gitcher said he was proud of the Secret Service agents today, and the Secret Service also said today, quote, U.S. Secret Service quickly responded with protective measures, and the former president is safe and being evaluated. One spectator was killed. Two spectators were critically injured. The incident is currently under investigation, and the Secret Service has formally notified the Federal Bureau of Investigation, end quote. Well, Alex, uh, Greg Gitch is such a respected voice in this community. Mm -hmm. Of course, he also protected uh, a couple of Louisville mayors. But you know, tonight, the Secret Service is also, I have saw, getting criticized. Mm -hmm. Some are calling this a major failure when there was real concern going into this rally about the uh, political climate. Uh, what did he say about that? Right, and I think, I mean, there's obviously cause to be a little bit worried. I mean, there's been such a spark in this political environment. But Gitcher did say that the agents do bomb sweeps, they have bomb sniffing dogs, they have detectors, they have um, snipers that counter other areas. But I mean, when it comes down to it, you just heard Gitcher say it comes down to these seconds and these milliseconds. And so, I mean, we just saw today that just a millisecond could have been the difference between life and death. But today's attempted assassination is going to be looked at very closely, like you heard Gitcher said, for years and years to come for other agents. And you know that scrutiny already beginning mm -hmm. yeah, before a sunset tonight in Pennsylvania. Thank you very much.